guys, my name is Gwena Gemsgirl and welcome to a walkthrough of the Money Grows on Trees quest within Sims Free Play. This is a main quest within the game which means that you have to be at a certain level and you have to have completed the previous quests before you can start this one. The main quests have to be done in order. It is only the second quest within the game. We have the short tutorial at the beginning and then we have the breadwinner quest and then we have money grows on trees. So you must have completed the breadwinner quest before you will get this pop up and you also must be at level seven to start this quest. When you can do this quest, you will get this pop up to say new quest available, money grows on trees, running low on simoleons, complete the money grows on trees quest to unlock the simoleon sprout. So with this quest, we are gonna unlock the simoleon sprout the social points flower and the life points lotus, which you may be thinking, what on earth are they? It will all become clear as we go through the quest. As well as being a walkthrough of this quest, this is also part of my Sims Free Play Let's Play, which is your Let's Play. If you haven't seen my previous videos in this Let's Play, this is your Let's Play. The Sims are viewers and subscribers. Just comment down below with a name that you would like a Sim to be, how you would like them to look. I have loads of girls queued up. Lots and lots of you have been messaging me, leaving comments with girl sims. I need some boy sims in the game. So please do let me know some boy names, boy looks, suggestions. And also let me know sort of relationships you'd like me to have. We have two sims currently. We have Chloe Pepper and we have Emma Thompson. And we're thinking of making them best friends that become enemies when a guy comes along. Let's get started with this quest, just remember to comment down below with some boy sims please. And if you need any help with the quest, hopefully this video will help you out with any questions you have, but if it doesn't, leave them down below as well and either myself or another simmer will try their best to help you out. Again, we have no time limit on this quest, which is amazing. There did used to be a time limit on this, I am sure there used to be, way back when, like six odd years ago when I first started playing, there used to be a time limit. It's nice that it's not, it eases, in, it eases us into the game a little bit to not have those really tight time constrictions on these beginning quests. The first thing we need to do is to grow some carrots. Were your sims ever told by their parents that money doesn't grow on trees? Well imagine if it did grow on trees. Wouldn't that make life so much easier? Oh it so would, wouldn't it? Have a sim grow some carrots in a garden patch to test this theory on a small scale. So we need to grow some carrots. I have not got a garden patch over here. I have one at a different house though. So we'll head over here. I have got, if you saw the last episode, you will know that I am working towards completing the cooking hobby. Cooking hobby is an amazing way to make LP within the game. And so I'm just going to continue. You can see that Chloe there, she's at level four of the cooking hobby. I'm trying my best to get up to level six as soon as I can. So we'll bring Emma over, I think. And we will start her making some carrots for five minutes. We are going to add another sim into the game during this episode. And I will take the comments from the previous, the breadwinner quest episode. I will look at those comments and I will find a boy sim. Possibly a boy sim, probably a boy sim, but it may be a girl. So make sure you're commenting to let me know how you want the series to go. But let's go ahead and start carrots for five minutes. We've finished growing some carrots. Now we need to watch a documentary. A small amount of money came from the carrots, but not enough. If your sims are going to make a plant that grows real money, they'll need a deeper understanding of plant genetics. Surely there's a documentary on TV about the dramatic life of plants. Ideally, narrated by some sort of famous sim. Watch a documentary on TV. So, we will use this TV over here. She is smelly again. Watch a documentary. This is a two-star tally, and that takes 54 minutes. We'll just go ahead and we'll collect these carrots, get our little bit of money there. And also, I forgot, in the last episode, in the breadwinner quest, we're going to open this present, because I've actually got no idea what it is. So, I completely forgot. We should open it now. But just before we do that, I am going to, I'm just going to collect all of this town map revenue. Just before we open the present, I'm going to start building a new house because I want to add a, another sim. So let's go ahead and take a little look at the houses we can build. So how much money have we got? We've got 7,200. I have been working quite hard at trying to build up simoleons. We can do an empty lot. I kind of don't want to do an empty lot. So we've got a furnished townhouse. I kind of think we should get different ones. We've got a one bedroom home. Let's go for, I mean I haven't got the money for anything expensive. There are lots of houses, some for LP, some for SP. 
with simoleons. We've even got the architect homes now, but we're gonna stick with the real estate homes. And I'm gonna do this one bedroomed home. That's gonna take 30 minutes to build and cost 3,000. Let's get that started. And then when it is done, we're gonna add a new sim. So stay tuned to see who that new sim is going to be. Let's go and open this present now. So I've brought Emma over. Let's just collect these daily rewards. And then let's open this present, see what it is. I have no idea. Do we normally get, this is like just something that happens at the start of the game. Everyone gets a present or what is inside? Come on. Ooh, mystery boxes. Mystery boxes have been given a makeover with brand new items for you to explore. Here are two keys to help you on your journey. That's nice. Thanks very much for two keys. So the keys are what you get when you complete weekly event. Weekly events is not the right word. Weekly quests. So every week we have... Oh, miss, visit Mystery Box Shop. We've completed that. So here is our weekly gold. You can see we have five days, three hours remaining on this. And you've just got a set of goals to do throughout the week. Definitely, definitely do them because as you can see, you get simoleons for completing 25%, simoleons for completing 50%, LPs for doing 75% and then you get a key at the end of it and then with the key, you can open these boxes. You get some pretty cool items in them, to be honest. At the moment, we have this special preteen box, but generally, it's just a loot box, a bounty box and a fortune box and you get loads of awesome items, as you can see, you unlock different things. Different amazing things, to be honest. So definitely we want to be doing that. So we should probably get going, actually. The next thing we need to do on this is to fill a Sim's energy need. And they're such simple kind of things to do, to be honest. It's nothing nothing dramatic. So I would say definitely get on with the weekly tasks as soon as possible within the game. So our house, our new house is now ready. So let's click on it and we will add a new sim. And we are going to add a male sim. This is viewer suggestion. So thank you. Remember to keep giving me your comments down below with who you would like to add into the town. But we are adding today Tony Walker. Suggestion by Lyra Sims. And we've got a little bit of background of how we want him to look. And I like the whole kind of billionaire idea. At the moment, obviously, he's not gonna, he's not got much money, but we will eventually, we will move him in to this huge big house. But let's, uh, let's create him. So, Tony Walker, he, let's sort of like this skin tone. Let's go with that. And black, not very long hair. So, I mean, we haven't got many options at the moment, but let's go with. This one, maybe? Let's go with this one. And I think there was something about, yeah, like a moustache or something. Can we do... Is there just a moustache option? Or does, do they have to have... I don't think there is, is there? No, there's no just a moustache. Kind of have to have like a bit of a goatee there. So we'll go with that. We'll go with a little goatee there. And then some bright blue eyes. This one or this one? That one That one kind of looks a bit freaky, right? So we'll go with that one. And then let's give him a nice outfit. Maybe he should wear... I wonder if we have, like, any sort of suit outfit. No, we haven't really got anything at the moment. But I feel like he should look quite sort of well put together. So I mean, maybe we have got, like, a... Um, maybe we should go for a suit. Have we got the pants that match? Surely we must have... Is it those? I think it's those pants that are the matching ones. They do look a slightly different colour. But I don't see any other ones. Oh no, those ones, yeah? They're those ones, yeah, there we go. They're the matching ones. His shoes, I think I'm quite happy with his shoes there. They're like businessman's shoes. And let's go for this look with Tony Walker. In the next quest, the next quest is actually Love is in the Air, where two sims need to get married. So we're going to have to speed along relationships. Oh, we've finished the documentary, so we'll head over there. We're going to have to kind of speed along. My idea was for Chloe and Emma to be friends. And then this guy came along that kind of messed that up. They were both into him. 
but we're probably not going to be able to sort of do all of that because of sort of time constraints with the quests. So the next thing we need to do is to make a double shot of coffee. Your sims have earned valuable information about plant genetics. To produce money, plants need energy. Where do we get energy? Coffee. Specifically, a double shot. So, have we got... She's so smelly. I might actually get her sorted she's she needs sorting out let's let's go over to emma because emma is much happier and we haven't got a coffee machine so we'll we will go and buy a coffee machine in the store so in the home store in the kitchen section and a coffee hang on a second oh yeah this one i was gonna say we haven't we've not a level where we can get a coffee machine we can get this coffee machine. Let's place that there. And let's see. A double shot is one minute. So we'll go ahead and get that. Let's uh, let's go over and just take a quick look at Tony's house. This is his house that he has. It's quite nice. He probably had a coffee machine. Do you, no, he didn't have a coffee machine over here. So he is going to be with Chloe they're going to get together I think what we'll have to go with with that Chloe and Emma are going to become best friends and Tony is a billionaire Chloe's um fiance or will be husband we have made this double shot of coffee we've almost completed this is a very short quest now we need to grow a simoleon sprout. Your sim had a sudden moment of mental clarity. They know the secret to growing a plant that sprouts money. Go to the garden and grow a simoleon sprout. So on the garden patch, click on the garden patch and now we have the option to grow a simoleon sprout. So it costs 250 simoleons. You can information, this is quite a new feature that they put into the game that shows the chances of getting each reward. You just kind of spin it. And, uh, and there's a chance of getting different vegetables that give you different rewards. So let's just go ahead and do it. I love this Somalian spell. He's so cool. Let's play there. You can see down at the bottom the chances of the prizes that you get. I never get anything particularly very good here. We won two, uh, not 250, 750, which is not bad. And to be honest, early on in the game, this bit of money does make a different oh would you like to earn 600 more by watching a video ad i have never ever had that before and in my other game i wouldn't do it but early on in the game when i'm searching for simoleons and simoleons are hard to come by definitely i'm gonna do it well, there we go so we won 1350 with that that's cool i like that so you can see that we can play again in four hours or we could use five LPs to do it. I have never used the five LPs to spin straight away. I don't really feel that that's worth it. But of course, if you want to, by all means, go ahead. And task complete on that. And that is quest complete. Congratulations. The simoleon sprout has been added to your list of seeds. Now you can grow simoleon plants whenever you please. And the next quest that we have, like I said, is the love is in the air quest. So we do need to get two sims married for this quest. And this is the first quest where we're going to have a time limit. So we've got a time limit of two days, which is very short, but it's not too bad of a quest. But thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Keep commenting down below with your suggestions of sim names. And I will see you soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!